Welcome to another edition of Rupert Report. we your host, John G. Rupert, who I'll be talking about uh, Philadelphia sporting events. And today's sporting event I'd like to talk to you about is the Philadelphia Flyers. And uh, I recently wrote a piece called, Is Philly's Border Closed for Lord Stanley? Once again, it looks like Lord Stanley won't be coming back to Philly this year. The Flyers are finding themselves further and further away from any playoff hopes with another lackluster year on the ice. It's beginning to feel like Lord Stanley will never return to the city that embraced him with so much love from 1974 and 1975. Those of you who are not old enough to remember, that's when the Flyers won their only Cups. First and second Cups. That's it. Most of you listening to me right now probably weren't even born when that happened. The Flyers currently sit in 6th place in their division, 11th place in their conference, and 5th in the wild card race. Doesn't look good for the guys in orange and black this year. In fact, doesn't look good for the near future at all. There have been numerous changes these past years in the front office and with personnel. However, the outcome is still the same. One week, the team looks like it's coming together under Coach Hackstall, and the next week, it looks like they're coming untied like the laces on their skates during the shootouts. Yeah, we all dread those. There's no consistency at all, and the fans are beginning to grow tired of we'll see you next year attitude. Which they always say, and they come up with a new slogan each year. It has been since 1975 when Philadelphia was able to host an NHL championship in this town. And that is way too long. The loyal fans who pay top dollar to see a championship caliber team play in the sold out Wells Fargo Center are wondering if they will ever see such a sight in their lifetime. It's nice to have a wonderful venue to watch the games, but it would be even nicer if that venue would become home to a future NHL championship. The organization has tried to make the right moves, hoping for a better outcome than the last 42 years, but still no parade. They've allowed Ron Hextall to pluck a rookie NHL coach out of his college dorm in hopes that his amateur success would manifest into a professional one too. The jury is still out on that verdict, and there have been rumblings that the experiment may be nearing a close. You know, it's sad that we live in one of the biggest hockey markets in the country, but we have next to nothing to show for it. We live in a city that prides itself on hockey knowledge as well as allegiance, and yet we are firmly lacking in hardware. Our team goes out on that frozen water of each game with the hopes of an entire city on the backs of their sweaters. The Flyers do want to win, but sometimes just wanting to doesn't bring on the prize. I think the time has come for a complete overhaul of the entire team from head to toe. Or head to skate. The mindset of the organization and its players is not a championship one, or we would have had one by now. As I said before, since 1975, you do the math. It is up to us fans to let the organization know that we are tired of waiting. It is time that the organization turn this sinking ship back around to the Navy Yard for a complete overhaul, starting from the captain down to the bottom deck. We deserve a championship, and Lord Stanley deserves to be allowed back into Philly. Let me know what you people think. Thanks.